Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we're going to be taking the up air up for a flight. So we've got it set up over there. This time I learned my lesson, put it back a little bit away from the car. I got the SkyZone 700D over here recording. Got a uh, camera set up over there. And so uh, now what we need to do is go for a flight. Okay, so we're going to start capturing the video. So we got video capturing. Uh, we're going to move it out sort of like we did in the last trip out here. Again, I'm trying to adjust myself. Uh, it's a little bit windier than the last time we are out here. Spin it around. I want to kind of see about. The wind looks like it's a little bit more up there. I'm going to do some slow yaws around, get some pictures. Yeah, what you're looking at there, I never knew those trails were actually there. Let's, uh, let's, uh, take a look over in that direction. So we're getting out there a little bit. I want to take it up. And again, we're looking down these trails. I think I'm up about 33 meters. Let's, uh, I don't want to turn it, but I want to go up a little bit more. I want to take it up about 50 meters. So I'm up about 51 meters. I want to yaw it around. Getting some good good yaw footage. Yeah, we're, we're yawing pretty fast, so I want to slow down the yaw rate a little bit. Uh, actually, I still got pretty good FPV. So I'm out, I think, about 123 meters, up about, I think, 57 meters. So it's still holding pretty good. I want to check this sky zone, see what the sky zone is seeing. So I have really good, I don't know if you can see this, but the sky zone's really got some some pretty good FPV because this is one of the things, Robert, one of the reasons I got this is this has, uh, if you can kind of see, I'm getting flicker on the controller, but I'm not getting flicker on the sky zone, so I actually get far better reception. One of the things I'm going to do is upgrade the antenna on the sky zone. Uh, I'm getting a little haziness now as I'm flipping around, as I'm yawing the copter around. It's a bit hazy out here today. Uh, but this is the one thing I like about the Sky Zone is, especially I think with the modded antennas, uh, I can get a whole lot better reception on it. See, so you can see the Black River. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So it's dropping a little bit in altitude. I don't want to bring it down too fast. I also want to watch the battery. For some reason the battery's dropping pretty fast. You can, I don't know if you can see the battery drop. Well, you probably no. The battery doesn't show for some reason on the uh, nine thousand on the seven hundred. But uh, I want to I want to see if turn this around a little bit. So that's the river. 
So there's that trail again. So that's where I want to I want to explore out that uh, down that trail a little bit. Bring it back a little bit. Still take it out a little bit. So it's doing pretty good. Uh, at about 27 meters high. I'm out there closing on about, I think, 237 meters. Ah, uh, there it is. I lost sight behind the trees of it. So... Yeah, the one thing I do like the arrow, because the arrow indicates what way I need to come to bring it to me, so I know my position of my stick to bring it back. So okay, now I'm I'm returning it back towards me, even though it's facing away. So I know the orientation. So this is definitely one of the things I like about it. Um, so if I lose orientation, I know the orientation of it. Spin it around here a little bit more. Um... I wonder why it's saying 400, 401 meters. Huh. Just looking at the uh, screen. So I got 20 satellites. You can definitely see when I, when I yaw it around versus where the antenna is, where I lose signal. Uh, the other day when I was doing this, you could see the ships out on uh, Saint Clair on, on the Huron Lake Huron, going down into the Saint Clair River. Again, kind of looking down, then panning out with the gimbal. And just spinning it around a little bit. This uh, right here, what you're looking at, this is uh, overflow spillway from the the Black River into the into Lake Huron. So with the arrows pointing on the uh, Sky, Sky Zone 700D, that actually flows into Lake Huron. So uh, it's still holding pretty good. I mean, we, we get some really good flight time on this. This is one thing I'm, I'm pretty impressed with is the general flight time on this. Um, I'm not sure how long it's been going, but I am going to issue a return to home and bring it back and see how it performs. So it's already up high enough. I don't think it'll rise up uh, any higher. Now, we did start it off. I started it off about 30 feet from the car. So uh, hopefully this time we won't have that problem. Of it coming, wanting to land on the car. Because one reader wrote, I mean, the uh, resolution, it hits probably within about 20 feet of where it takes off, which isn't too bad. So, uh, it's doing pretty good. So, I want to see where it comes down. As you see, here it comes. So I uh, stopped, stopped the descent, so I'm going to leave it hover right there for a second. Just kind of fly it around a little bit.
So now I'm at a low altitude. I'm going to reissue the return to home. Let's see what it does. So it's going to do a rise again. It's not that too big of a rise. It's going to come back over. And that's pretty close to where it took off. Now let's see if it comes down. I'm going to, I'm going to save the video. But uh, it's uh, coming down pretty good. Hey, there we go. Another great flight of the up here. So, guys, I don't know what to tell you. So, a lot of people write, write on the uh, uh, channel, you know, that this is a piece of junk. For 300 bucks, I can't complain. So, I've had very good luck with it. Knock on wood. Um, it does do some quirky things. I don't think the camera and gimbal is the best in the world, but for sub 300 bucks, I tell you what, I've been pretty happy with it. So, anyways, uh, again, hopefully you enjoyed this flight. If you got questions, hit me up below. Uh, don't forget the subscribe button is going to be coming up over there in a minute. Don't forget to hit the like button, support the channel, and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.